two, three, fuck it. My darling, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Hello boys, girls, and all in between. My name is Lucy Michaela and welcome to another episode of Fleet Analysis. Today we are looking at the lovely fleet of High Peak Buses. Now High Peak Buses is an interesting set operator. They are local to here in Macclesfield and they are a joint venture between the Wellglade Group, which obviously are the owners of Trent Barton and Centrebus Group, with the livery, the fleet livery, actually being the Centrebus scheme. Now, it was originally Bowers Coaches until around about 2014 time. I can't remember the exact date, but I'll probably put it on the screen. The operator is quite a nice little one, and over a few years of operation, it eventually became quite strong on an Optus Solo SR fleet. But there are other vehicles in the fleet, so we thought we'd have a quick look at the uh, operator, go across the whole of Derbyshire, and just explore their network. We're going to start on the Route 58, which links Macclesfield to Buxton, and is the only service that runs on Sundays at the moment. We're going to get one of the Optus Solo SRs now. I believe we are on, I can't see the number from here, we are on that solo SR which is parked just there and so we'll go and get on it now. Okay, so we're on fleet number 294. Uh, this is one of the mini Opta solo SRs, one of two 17 plates in the fleet. The Opto Solo SRs are much the only vehicle that operates these services here in Macclesfield, although we have recently been seeing some slight oddities uh, in the area. Uh, there was a Plankston Centro in the other week, and also one of the two newest vehicles in the fleet, which we will hopefully be able to cover later in this video, so I won't mention what those are. Anyway, we are on this on the 58 all the way up to Buxton Marketplace, and as you can probably tell, uh, the route takes a very nice little route out of Macclesfield, going through the back streets of what would be officially known as Little Sutton. Um, and then in towards the area of the Hertzfield. Um, so it's a nice little back street and exit to the town rather than a more expected route. Um, I believe on Sundays the service still does what it used to on Sundays, which is go straight up Buxton Road. So it comes out and it turns at that crossroads from the uh, bus station where um, the fountain is. And then it goes down the main road, down Sutherland Street, and then up Buxton Road like the 60 and 60A would normally do during the week. Anyway, we're on this all the way to Buxton, so I will see you all uh, when we get there. So this is 541 in the High Peak fleet, or necessarily the Centre Bus fleet numbering, um, but with High Peak. It's one of two brand new Environment MCs which were ordered for the Route 61, with the route actually with the PBR of three, which is interesting. Um, but there is a couple of Solo SRs branded for the route, um, but it appears that these may be replacing those. Um, but it's weird that they're only taking two of these on when they do take the three. But anyway, so these two brand new Environment MCs have been used mostly on the 61, but there was one that did sneak over to Macclesfield the other week um, on the 58. Um, as one of these 61 uh, runs actually has a 58 working at the very end of the rotor, um, going to Maxford and back before heading to the depot in Dove Holes. Uh, but it's a lovely little bus, and the interior is sort of a mix of an ADL spec interior, but also centre bus, because it's got the orange grab handles, but this is ADL seating. So it's a bit interesting. I wonder if they're going to potentially do a reupholstering inside as well at some point, as I believe they bought the dealer spec, and they are up for the ship, because I believe these grab handles are actually quite new, because I'm pretty sure last I saw this one, I'm pretty sure I have the cream handles that you get uh, by default uh, in the ADL interior. I'm on the way to Tesco, but I forget which one it is, but we'll check that and then make sure we get off the right stop. Okay, so interestingly, this bus is fitted with just two USB charging ports on the two main priority seats. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that before, because every other seat doesn't have one. It's just those seats. That's really bizarre. Okay, so here we are around Whaley Bridge Tesco's. Uh, we just jumped off 541 there. The 61 is the route it was on. Whacked my head on the uh, wing mirrors I got off, so that was fun. But uh, it was a nippy little bastard, and I'll tell you what, it sounded quite good for an Environment MMC, which is a bit weird to say. We have about half an hour wait here uh, while I wait for the next bus, so I'm gonna head into Tesco's and get some food, as it's like 20 past nine and I've not eaten food yet, and I'm quite hungry. And as 
296 goes past there. I should have mentioned that one is the oddity of the fleet. It has aircon on top because it is ex Malta public transport, uh, a fleet we have seen quite a few times on the channel, and we saw that vehicle uh, in the last episode of bus spotting where we were at Macclesfield. Speaking of Macclesfield and seeing it on that sign over there for the petrol station, I should have mentioned while I was there about High Peak's presence in the town, as Macclesfield obviously has quite a lot of routes, even though a lot are being removed. But it does have three key operators overall. That is Arriva Buses Wales, it is now Buses Wales, it has been since 2020. DNG Bus and of course High Peak Buses. So DNG operate the 130, the 88, and they operate one of the 38s, with Arriva operating the other 38, the 21, the 4, the three, uh, the nine, and the ten as well. High Peak operate quite a number of routes. They operate the 14, the 19, the 58, the 60, the 60A, and all of these services run Monday to Saturday with the 58 also running on Sundays. However, at the moment, the 19 uh, is currently being operated by DNG Bus as High Peak buses are actually having a driver shortage at the moment. Uh, to try and not hinder the rest of their services in Derbyshire, they've taken off the 19 as well as a number of services on other routes as well, but the 19 they've panned over to DNG Bus for the foreseeable future while they wait for their driver shortage to amend itself. Currently there is no date when the DNG coverage will end, but it has been vehicles 129 and 130 doing the uh, rounds since the takeover by them for a short period of time, with one of the verses that transferred recently from High Peak doing the first day of it, but since then it's been 129 and 130, which are two Optair solos. Anyway, we are, as I said before, at Whaley Bridge Tesco's, waiting on the 190 uh, to come around. I've just seen it going towards Shower Cross. We're going to be getting it back into Buxton, the longer route into Buxton from here, um, just to cover both routes and get the mileage in on both. There'll be another Optair Solo SR, and I'll see you on board. I'm a little peeved off, but that's not the point. We've just jumped off number 284 in the High Peak Fleet. Now, if the, fl if the recording that I made on the bus was too uh, hard to hear, then I'm going to say this now. That was 284, which is one of the 63 plate Opta Solo SRs in the High Peak Fleet, on the Route 190, which is one of the more indirect routes from Whaley Bridge down here to Buxton. Now, I was going to be on that to Buxton Marketplace, but for whatever reason, he's due there at 10.33. It's now nearly 10.40. We've reached Sylvan Park, which is not the end of the route. It's nearly the end of the route, but not quite. So he still has to go to Buxton Marketplace. They changed drivers here, and even though they were late, they just stood there in the chat. So, nice one, guys. Anyway, while they're still stood there in the chat and still running late, um, I missed my connection I was planning on making, because I was going to make a connection at Buxton Marketplace to the Trans Peak service, but we'll cover that later in the video. Instead, we'll cover the other branded route, which is the Skyline 199. Okay, I've got my hood up because it's starting to rain, but that's not a big deal. Anyway, that was the lovely 809, one of two uh, generic liveried uh, Sitaros in the fleet of 10 examples of the type with high peak bus. They were taken on in 2019, um, and some of them, I believe, were taken on in early 2020 as well, to introduce on the Route 199, with the two generic livered ones being used as generic vehicles, general vehicles, but mostly as spares for the route when the branded ones need to be come off route. Now, unfortunately, one of those, I believe, is out of action at the moment, and one of the Skyline ones is out of action at the moment, which means there is currently one allocation a day, which is a different vehicle. Now, there's been a whole host of vehicles on the route. We saw a, a Versa on there the other week. Last week, there was an Enviro 200, and as you saw earlier on, one of the last remaining right Solar was on there on that allocation today. 
The Brute used Wright Solas before it used the Sotaros, branded in pretty much exactly the same way. The branding was very slightly changed with the introduction of Sotaros, but it pretty much was the exact same branding that was used on the Solars. Now I've come all the way to Stepping Hill Sainsbury's on that bus. I'll be going across to the Sainsbury's now, where I'm going to be waiting for the 394, which is the next route we're going to cover, which goes from here up to Glossop, uh, and is also run by High Peak. But we're going to have to see how it goes, because the timetabling and stuff is all over the shop today. So this video is somewhat being ruined by that, including ambulances keep going past me, but that's fine. Anyway, let's make our way over to the bus stop now. So we've just got off the stop at Stepping Hill Sainsbury's. Now I did come here to get the 394 route from here to Glossop. But unfortunately, because it's a two hourly route and because I got screwed over by that connection mist, there's not another one here for over an hour. Now I'm not gonna stay in here for over an hour because even if I wanted to shop in a Sainsbury's, which I no longer do after finding out some of the stuff they've been like, um, I wouldn't want to do it for an hour. As tempting as it is to go in that part, that pub, and get use of my 10% NHS discount, I think what I'm going to do instead is head down to Stockport on the 192, getting one of the lovely smart hybrids, or whatever comes first, really, um, and then from there connect to Ashton, where we can then connect to Glossop. So we're going to be using a bit of stagecoach for a bit. We're going to be using free stagecoach vehicles. I'll get some clips on all the vehicles, and then we'll return to the High Peak Network. And when we get to Glossop, I will cover one more route there and then hopefully be able to connect back to Buxton from there by High Peak because there is a service from there to Buxton by High Peak. So you catch me walking down a road to the stop for the 330. The 192 decided to just terminate because apparently they can do that. They could just decide to terminate buses whenever they like. Um, the bus driver was like, I'm going off. It's like, that's fine. But surely they should have had a backup driver for when you were coming off and you should have been put on the schedule otherwise. Things are not going well for me today. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to walk to where I believe the 330 is going from now. When I finally find it, I'll catch you on board. It should be a nice Enviro 400 Trident. So let's uh, enjoy that because we definitely will. Okay, so it's a quick stop here at Ashton. Uh, it's just over there is our Trident. 19254 will take us in the 2020 livery all the way over to Glossop, and then we'll be back on the High Peak Network. Glossop Henry Street. This is where all the services in Glossop originate from, mixtures from both Stagecoach and High Peak. Now High Peak operate a number of services here. Uh, they used to operate more as evident by the signage on bus stops, but include, uh, sorry, which, which included one to Macclesfield, but other than that uh, they do operate uh, services today which include two services which are like double end circular routes where there's like a circular either end and the middle point is Glossop Henry Street and they don't really terminate at any point, they just sort of wait in the town centre here for sort of 5-10 minutes. The 394 route, which is the one we were going to get from Stockport to here, but obviously we didn't, we missed the connection because of that trans peak mix, uh, miss. And then the 61 runs this way from Buxton as well. Now, the original plan was going to be to clear um, one of the longer ends of the two circular routes, but instead we're going to clear one of the sh ends of the shorter 390 route, which is just the old Glossop and Whitfield circular. And then after that, we will then jump on the 61 back to Buxton and then sum up the video there simply because of that misconnection. Okay, 
is we're on number 238 in the fleet. Uh, this is the only Optair Solo SE that uh, I think operates. Uh, the SE being available in one size, the 7.1 meter, or the M710, um, and it's always recognizable because of the uh, one single wide door at the front rather than two separate doors uh, that sort of fold inwards. It's just the one folding in door. Um, these were really common for operators that use little and small groups, but didn't quite want to go as small as a minibus. Um, with more modern minibuses being slightly more reliable and more appealing, uh, this type has been somewhat favoured out. Although it's available on the SR bodywork, you can get M710 SE SRs, which is a little confusing. Anyway, this one is fitted with the rather rancid Urban 90 seating, the seating that is infamously the most uncomfortable offered on a bus in the UK. But usually it's fitted to Alexander Dennis vehicle, so it's interesting to see it fitted to an Optair solo. And we're on this on just the one half, the Whitfield half of the 390, with the other half of the route going down to Old Gloucester and back again. Um, we may cover that in some future video or something, but we'll do a full sum of the bits we missed at the end of the video as well. So, you will notice that on that Optair Solo specifically, they actually have center bus logos on it rather than high peak, but high peak. And the reason for this is simply because that vehicle only recently transferred from the center bus east operation up to high peak to be used on services like the 390 and other little circular routes or smaller routes that high peak operate. And so that was 541 for the second and for the last time of today. This brings us back to Buxton where I'm going to be summing up the video there. So before we get going, I just want to quickly let you know what I missed out on. So one thing I didn't get to cover is some of the more obscure routes of the network. We did try to cover the 394, which is somewhat of an obscure route, but also isn't. Because the issue of High Peak, a lot of their services are either two hourly or they finish at like two to four in the afternoon, even on weekdays. Um, some don't even run on Saturdays as well, so they have a very interesting network. Some routes are very important and some just aren't. But we also didn't cover all of the fleet. Some of the vehicles we didn't get were the Plaxton Centro currently in the fleet, which we did get some footage of, and obviously a, a photo of when we were down at uh, Sylvan Park earlier today, when we had our miss up with the, uh, t the Trans Peak. But we also had um, some Scanias in the fleet as well, some Omni Cities, and uh, Wright Solar still in the fleet as well. as. Uh, as well as obviously a number of standard Optair Solos, which we got one of today as well. There were two Optair Versas on the Trans Peak network, but they recently transferred to DNG. Uh, 780 is still on the fleet list, but I believe it's transferred to DNG, as far as I'm aware, um, as they're more standard to the DNG fleet, so they're being moved over there. Speaking of the Trans Peak, that does come to here in Buxton. Now, the Trans Peak is officially, one ser is officially two services, the TP2 and the TP3. The TP1 being a service that no longer operates, and I forget where that one went. But what they actually do is they run it as one through service. So the buses just say TP on them, and then they just change their, term, their destination boards. And obviously, all the timetables is branded up as just one service, but it is technically two services as it does wait in Matlock for about five to ten minutes and it does split there. Um, but the same vehicle runs one and then the other, so it is a connection between the two. Anyway, the network itself is lovely. Some of the stage places it goes to are fantastic to look at. I mean, it goes right through the countryside as you've seen throughout. And my favorite part of the day has just been some of the glorious Derbyshire architecture we've had all day. I mean, I'm stood here in Buxton and there's a fantastic clock towered building in front of me next to the King's Head pub. Looks glorious. I love that about uh, the countryside. But also some of the views we've had throughout the day have been fantastic. I'm gonna be going back on the 58, which goes right through those Derbyshire Dales and looks fantastic as you saw on the clip up uh, back to Macclesfield. Uh, on another one of the Optus Solo SRs most likely. Anyway guys, if you have enjoyed this, let me know down below. Let me know what fleet you want me to see want to see me cover that's up here in the northwest next. I'm thinking Stagecoach Manchester is doing it at some point, but I might need to make that one a bigger project because it is they are the largest operator around here. Um, but we will see what we can do. Similar size to be fair though for Reeve North West, so we might split that into bits as well. Especially for Arriva, because Arriva North West is very spread out, whereas Stagecoach Manchester is big but in one area. Anyway, I've been Lucy Michaela. This has been the High Peak Buses Fleet Analysis video. If you have enjoyed, do feel free to like and subscribe. If you do subscribe, turn on the notification bells, and I'll see you in the next video, guys.
Bye, everyone.